Apple was one of the key reason why market is going down. China had told its government agencies to stop using the iPhone. It would affect less than 500,000 iPhones. I think this is overblown. So let's start with the market. What's happening in the market? So in my opinion, there were like three major reasons why market fell uh, in last couple of days. Let's start with number one. Apple was one of the key reason why market is going down because there are worries in China, especially. Uh, we saw that news coming out where China had told its government agencies to stop using the iPhone and other electronic uh, devices from foreign origin. So, so let's let's think about it. Uh, China has always, you know, preferred like to use the local technologies. They they always put ban on, you know, companies like Google, uh, Facebook. You know, Apple is big. You know, Apple is there. There's a lot of business coming from China, and this news definitely impacts uh, the investor sentiment uh, who invest in Apple. So. Uh, I was reading about it, uh, looked at a couple of places, and and it, it's interesting. So I was curious on what is the you know the actual impact. I was trying to find, you know, if if the government agencies ban Apple devices, what is the potential impact of uh, on on iPhone on Apple? So so let's let's look into it. So one of the analysts uh, from Wedbush Securities, what he mentioned that. Uh, it would affect less than 500,000 iPhones of roughly 45 million uh, that is sold in the country over the next 12 months, So, which is not a big amount. So in my opinion, in fact, this ban may trigger more interest for Apple devices. Now, Apple has uh, a new event scheduled, uh, iPhone launch event scheduled on September 12th. So I'm very curious on how that event goes iphone 15 is going to launch you know definitely there was some concerns from european market also uh, uh, but that set aside let's let's look into uh, you know a potential of what can happen right so on one side you have this fear in the market where you know the the china news uh, you know the the european uh, uh, news uh, for apple may not be you know supporting the apple uh, price right now uh, it's it's pushing that it's increasing that pressure on apple stock but in my opinion i think this is overblown i agree with this this analyst this is overblown it will calm down and in next few days maybe a week we can have once this iphone 12 is released it's going to come back up so let's look into the second reason why uh the stock market is down or it's falling one of the reason was uh the data from institute of supply management ism so this is a non-manufacturing purchasing managers index so the expectations were that it's going to be around 52.5 but it came in and came in hot so 54.5 so that was one of the reason why because Everybody is looking at Fed, whether Fed is going to increase its rates, whether Fed is going to keep the rates at, you know, where it is right now, uh, or if Fed is going to cut the rates. Now, uh, in order to do that, they want all these numbers to be down. Like you talk about employment numbers, investors, like ideally, like the bullish investors, they want these numbers to be down because in their mind, how they are thinking or in fact you know fed may be making a decision that okay we want economy to be down we we don't want jobs to go up we don't want uh, these um, uh, purchasing indexes uh, you know uh, to go up we don't want these um, uh, consumer price indexes to go up so so fed want to control the inflation and when numbers like these come out when they are better than expected then you you will see uh, the fear in the market you may see that the stocks uh, may get impacted so that is what is happening right now and i think it is again 
uh, for you know few days it will come back up you know i'm not worried about it uh, because it's it's going to be long um time before we start seeing the 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 rates coming actually coming down but between now and then i think there's going to be a lot of volatility you may see some weeks uh, the stocks are going up uh, next week the stocks are going down you know it's it's part and parcel of you know the stock market so let's look, look into the third reason uh, the third reason is the rising crude prices so yesterday uh, the uh, crude oil features uh, features went up why because saudi arabia and and russia they wanted to uh, expand their production cuts further so so what does that mean you know uh, with with rising prices uh, oil prices uh, it is not good uh, for the inflation because it can add to the inflation so that is one of the worry that we are seeing in the market rising oil prices uh, and that may add up to inflation and which may results uh, fed uh, not taking any, any action to reduce their rates or keeping the rates as it is right now or the worst case scenario the rates going up so these are some of the reasons why the we are seeing the market pull back but again i feel like it may uh, reverse its course uh, maybe by next week we'll see